Welcome back everyone to another video here on National Vlogs. Um, now this video is sort of an explanation video. Um, I've been holding it off for about, what, nine months now? Something like that, eight, nine months, probably, I don't know. But I've been holding it off for a while. Um, and it's regarding one of the questions I often get asked as a YouTuber and content creator slash vlogger. Um, and it's, why did I stop doing funfair vlogs? Why did I stop? Why did I start and get a decent momentum going and then for some reason stop? But yeah, why did I stop doing fun fair vlogs? Here's the reason. Clout. One word. Clout. Clout is the reason why I stopped. Let me give you a bit of a backstory. So I first went to film a fun fair vlog at Southampton Common Easter Fair back in 2018. Now, on that exact day, I just hit 100 subscribers. And I met a guy there, known as Sloppy Vlogs. Brilliant guy, he, he, he creates some brilliant content. He still does now, and it's um, he's done well during this pandemic, to be fair, so credit to you, Dave. Um, but yeah, so I sort of hung around with him for that day, um, and I was in, a vlog and it you know it promoted my channel if you've meant heard me mention on this channel the downward spiral of 2018 and 19 then this was sort of the very humble and slow beginnings of that downward spiral because i got influenced i wanted some of that fame um so i started doing fun fair vlogs um it didn't become prominent until Billy Davis's fun park, Basingstoke, in June of 2018, about three or four months after I first wanted to start doing this, when I finally put like a full vlog together, and I collabed with quite a few people. But there was a fair before that where I felt like I wasn't wanted around. Uh, but I, I just stuck around because, you know, me being a young YouTuber at the time, wanted to get an idea of how to create this sort of content. Winchester Fun Fair 2018 was what I think was the decline in popularity on my side of things. And here's why. So when I recorded this vlog, which was released on the 21st of June, 2018, um, this, this vlog should never have been filmed, and I'll tell you why it should never have been filmed. That day, I had to go to work, like staff meeting, and immediately go, go down to the bed because I was trying to be committed. And, um, yeah, it should never have been filmed. At the time this was being filmed, when this video was filmed, I I started getting a lot of hate from Sloppy Vlogs' um, uh, fans saying that they didn't like me, they didn't like my humour, um, they thought I was rude and obnoxious and I, I, they just hated me. And that is also why I'm never featured on Sloppy Vlogs anymore. Because whenever I'm mentioned or whether I'm featured, the dislikes just go straight up. And hence why I... I still talk to Sloppy Vlogs. I still um, want to film content with him, but um, clearly his fan base doesn't want me around. So, yeah. But when I was filming this vlog, because of that, I was pretty much forced to censor my content. And I've, so I had to bleep every swear word. Anything that sounded rude had to be bleeped or cut out. This vlog is evident of it. I didn't even click that out. It's reasons like this. Yeah. I thought I was famous. 
if you see me at Hat Fair, give me a wave. The fame, the fame was starting to go to my head. You see where the downward spiral was starting to kick in? We're just going to possibly get over to the program. Obviously, we've been here pretty much most of the week working on build it up, so it's going to be good. Shut the fuck up, I'm trying to vlog. Why? You see where the downward spiral is starting to come in now? You see where I was about... I was heading for my own self-demolition and self-destruction. Um, I am literally feeling shit tonight. I do not feel... I've not been well all week. That week, I had a massive headache. I was feeling very ill. I had a dodgy stomach. Um, and whenever I had to drink, like, I just had to drink something fizzy to keep myself from not throwing up. Um, another reason why that vlog shouldn't have been filmed, because I wanted the clout and everything. I put my own health at risk. Just for videos. It was stupid. And it was also in this vlog where um, it became evident that I wasn't really wanted around. Time went by and I started doing the same vlogs as Sloffy, started doing Ringwood. And then 2019, 2019, following my self-destruction, my own self-sabotage, my own self-demolition, I attempted to go back to vlogs, the funfair vlogs. But the passion was gone. My self-demolition had caused me not to want to film it. I tried going back to them. I went to one in Southampton. I tried going back to them. And then I went to work on a fair for three weeks. Didn't like it. And then, for some reason, I just stopped. And for those who keep asking me why I stopped doing fun fair vlogs, as I said, clout. The Funfair Vlogs caused my own self sab uh, my my own self sabotage. It caused me to become someone I'm not. And it affected not just my YouTube life, but it ended up affecting my personal life for around about a year and a half. A year and a half of my life. Now, I can't get back now. I can't get back. My own self-destruction is there for the whole world to see. So for those who keep asking me, will I go to Funfair Vlogs? I might. But I'll go back when I'm ready. I'm not saying that I will go back. 
Me, from fair blogs on national blogs is a thing in the past. A thing in the past which haunts me because that was my own self sabotage. And here I am now, almost three years after that video, still paying the price for my own self sabotage. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit that like button as well. Let's get to 400. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.